Hi everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the first episode of Masu Gakuen HH. If you want to check out our reaction to the first episode of Maso Gakuen HH, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section, because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, and I know you're going to like what you see with this one, subscribe to Otaku Saga. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Okay, if you're anything like us, you're going to like it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> there are people who are like, oh, edgy! In our comment section? Yes. Yes. Damn. Actually. There are quite a lot of people. There was like... There was a <laughs> lot of people who were like, you guys shouldn't watch that. Yeah. Huh. It was very polarizing in our in our uh, discussion in, for the summer podcast that we did. Yeah. It was very polarizing. There was a lot of people like, yes, this is going to be hilarious. And there was people like, no, <laughs> no, no, stop doing harems. Stop doing etchy. They're all crap. There's actually one person I mean, who said that, like, specifically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can really say about it is, at least we only have, like, one harem series this season. And you could always just not watch the, that particular reaction. Like, <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah, if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it, is what I'm saying, yeah. I guess. I mean, like, for, there me, are else, yeah. for me, with everything else there were, I mean, especially last season, right? All the all the heavy stuff, you know, it was a breath of fresh air to actually get something out of, you know, more like what we'd watch normally. Not necessarily, because everything, honestly, with what was going on in this episode, I probably wouldn't watch this series all the way through. No, I would. Um, it's amusing, but not not highly that not that highly entertaining to me. Um, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's always good to have those lighter series to kind of, uh, to kind of, uh, off, you know, off balance it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like what I always say when, it, you know, when, it, when I talk about watching harem series is, you know, sure, I could watch, you know, I watch masterpieces of anime, you know, <laughs> but. Sometimes I like to just relax and not have to think that much. And that's what these are. Yeah. That's, that, that's, like, why, I, that's why I like watching the Way Blob series, too. It's just sometimes it's nice to just relax and not have to think about a story. You know, you, know, you don't always have to watch a <laughs> uh, For me, last season, we had... Um, oh, we had 100. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there were harem series do we have well I think 100 was the only one that was like actually like full on harem yeah and also quite similar to this yeah but we had a lot of stuff that was just <laughs> serious emotional and you know serious, very yeah. very story driven also we yeah, have kind of more wholesome stories as well and th there's some that are still going, like Re Zero. Re, yeah, Re Zero is quasi Hiramish. Not uh, kind of, sort of, not really. I mean, he is pretty devoted to Amelia, but again, he does have multiple uh, female characters. That but at the same time, there. like with what just happened in that anime, in, which by the way, yeah, by the way, that that reaction should be out by now. That was like, whoa, that that was that was reaction shot shot. Through his chest, there. The reaction for what? Uh, Re -Zero? Re Zero? Yeah. But um, what happened there just, it's so intense at, at some points that you know, personally, I want to go watch something like this. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree even, with that. Actually. Even with like Sunset no Miyoji, it's still like there's still a lot of story behind it that you really want to pay attention to. And so, yeah, I mean, just this is this for me is a breath of fresh air. It's, it's a guilty it, pleasure. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's nice to relax once in a while and not. I mean, with all not have to go one hundred percent. Yeah, you know, with serious stuff. Yeah, 
I all mean, the stuff that we're watching last season was really serious. And if it wasn't really serious, it was Moe Blanc. It, well, it, it was... Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say Moe Blob, like, like Bakun and Anna Happy and um, Sancha Sonia definitely would fall in that category. Bakun's pretty etchy though at times. Give it that. Yeah, but it's, uh, but yeah, I, and, I don't know, it's still, it's still kind of that Moe Blob feel. It has more of a Moe Blob feel. It, it well, ventures those three, you get the whole, um, Yuri Light, I guess. Okay. Is how I want to put it. But this one, we're going full throttle etchy. From yeah, th- yeah this one's scene. full throttle etchy, not even trying to hide it. Yeah. Um, and I like, the, I like the, I love those every once in a while too. Yeah. So. Probably my big thing that I don't really care for in this series so far is that all the important female characters have to have like what would you say triple i breasts i don't know fucking huge it's getting halfway up the alphabet that is a bit much (laughs) yeah i mean just massive tits i mean they're so big that if those flight suits of theirs can carry them i have to call bullshit on overweight baggage fees like that blonde girl hers are literally each of them is bigger than her head good god um, the budget that for for me personally that irritates me. Mm. Um, that's why like my like I earlier in the reaction I compared it to High School DxD and there was another series that that same author did. Uh, uh, I thought you said High School of the Dead. Or yeah, sorry, High School of the Dead. There's another series that that same author did that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Triage X. Yeah, Triage X. Both those series. The character designs bugged the ever loving fuck out of me. Yeah, I mean, because of that very reason. It's like High School of the Dead. You can tell which female characters were gonna live and which ones were gonna die. Do you know where they put the plot armor? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, I, I imagine it bugs you a little bit more because you're Team Justice. But actually, even as a team, uh, as a Team Opi guy, a Team Plot guy, um, it, uh, too much is. Uh, is gonna bug me also and i do miss my like normal size yeah <laughs> i yeah i kind of actually we don't have a ridiculously large character in our waifu lineup at all nope. actually nope i kind of like it to say that way uh, but uh, i would do probably there the will be a rius be, uh... <laughs> rius or stella rius or stella in, in well, that's because they're adorable. in the anime she Yamato. like compared to the other ship girls what's well, happened she had large cannons. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah, like that, that really like genuinely bothers me mm-hmm. because like I look at the character design for, for that blonde girl and I just think that's kind of fucking disgusting. I don't know. It, that, that's just the, kind of a me personally thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> it, it's really it's really personal taste. I mean, I don't really call I don't really call it disgusting. No, when they start getting that well, for when me, they start personally, getting like, when they start getting that big into beach ball territory anymore, there is a limit. It kind of don't necessarily know if I should say this or not, but there's a reason why I don't like a lot of hentai is because a lot of authors seem to think that that's really, really attractive to make, like, tits out the ear. Yeah, I mean... It's actually part of the reason why we consider Aiken to be one of the worst anime ever made. And this is coming from, you know, uh, from both of us and our boob preferences differ slightly but boobs aside <laughs> before we start digging more holes and shooting ourselves in the foot too late what? feet feet, feet. <laughs> <laughs> so i i like i like the idea ish ish you know it really goes back to the same thing that we were talking about with 100 
same thing that I have with Infinite Stratos. All these type of uh, series where it's kind of like power armor that, that the characters have. Mm-hmm. I really like the concept. I haven't had a series like that that's blown me away yet, though. Yeah. So partially because it's done quite often, it's almost uh, as it, common as you know Magic High School anime now. Yeah. But altogether, it's it's about average for me. Yeah. And it, uh, it has a guilty pleasure. Yeah, it, I mean, like I said earlier, it's Diamond Dollar meets Infinite Stratos. Only, uh, I think they need more penguins. That's what will tie it in. Hmm. You ever think any is more penguins? Such a more uh, penguin empire. Uh, but yeah, so let us know what you think of the anime and what you think of our reaction. Yep, and uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Be sure to leave a comment about how you feel about it. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.